Hey, welcome back to Blar. Today we're going to take a look at Elemento, where elements come to life. So I grabbed this thing, that was $4 at the um, game uh, expo I went to. So, never seen it or heard of it. Probably not my style of game, I don't know. <laughs> it's like learning, uh, maybe chemistry with some fantasy on it. So maybe he did a good job. Alchemist Empire, never heard of it. So we're just going to unbox it, take a look at the components, see how it looks. Four bucks, it seems like it might be okay. Not a huge investment. We got quite a big board here. All right, take a look at the cards in a second. Let's see how this board looks. All right, so you have an atom in the middle. Alchemist, well, not alchemist, but chemistry stuff. On the corners there. Um, what did this say this one is? This is a two to four player game. All right, comes the rule book. Not too thick, that's always good. So we get three chips, a dice, you have element cards, so element decks, compound deck, alchemy deck. Just break down your cards, symbol, name. Lewis symbol, atomic number, uh, family or category, atomic mass, description, reaction, power, and movement. Okay, so it's got like grid based movement. Capture electronics, attacking. Uh, this looks like it might be easy to get into. So that's, it's well written. Well, I don't know, well written, well written, but well produced or uh, laid out instruction book. Looks like it's really easy to read. Alright, let's see. We have different decks, looks like maybe here. Looks like a blank, maybe you make your own. Let's see here, what we got a little blank. Is there like four decks or something, maybe? Let's see here. So I have two different elements, and you're going to compound the elements. Yeah, look at these. The chromium zombie, iodine mermaid, with Nihium, Rockstar, if I'm saying that all wrong, Mercury Expander, Lead Sentry. Oh, it's not bad, it's kind of cool. And the soldier, Silver Duchess, Hydrogen Stargazer, Healing a Genie, Lithium Leprechaun, Berylidium Dwarf, Boron uh, Cerebrus, Cerebrus, Carbon Agent, Nitrogen, Nitrogen Naga. Let's see. So those, those cards, these blue cards here. These are all elements. I'm thinking they all go together. So these are probably so it's your compound cards here. Oh no, same kind of same things. So in a different color. I guess we're a different player. That's cool. So hopefully this is complete because I actually I want to give this a try. Krypton Bandit. Oxygen Life Giver. Yeah. Chips here. Standard poker chips. And one dice. And in this bag, hopefully, nothing's missing from there. I don't know. So I'll probably have to count these cards, make sure they're all there. Let's see. It's just like flavor text. Looks like it's just flavor text. So, 
Again, number 24, transition metal, uh, 52 the number. Paints rubies, red by day, and steels, stainless steel, utensils by night. Okay, so that's this flavor text. And then you have arrow, your symbol. Okay. Don't know what any of this stuff does. Just picked it up because it was four bucks. Hopefully complete. So there's how to play. Got a battlefield, fortress, opponent's fortress. Uh, you'll see a card of seven hands, seven cards per hand. Got reaction. Compound levels. And fusion. So, some stuff to learn. This is Elemento Settlemento. Well, pretty good condition. Hopefully that bag is nothing important that I really do need. Yeah, I need to put the board back in as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.